Hello, Horned Former, and welcome. I want to play a game. You're probably wondering where you are. I'll tell you where you might be. You might be in the room that you die in. What do you want? I already said, I want to play a game. I want to play Yahtzee Jr. Toy Story and Beyond Edition. What? I don't want to play that. Oh, uh, this is awkward. I'm in. All right, I'm gonna saw my leg off now. <sighs> Most people are so ungrateful to be alive, but not you, not anymore. Saw is a 2004 horror film written and directed by Lee Whannell and James Wan and tells the story of a serial killer that kidnaps two men and makes them decide between life and death. Saw has had quite the reputation over the years. Released 15 years ago today, Saw was a pretty monumental film at the time, and on the budget of only $1.2 million, it grossed quite a bit during its time. But it's also left a taste in some people's mouths over the years. When the film came out, it was rated NC-17, which is even worse than R, it's very taboo. And it's since kind of been labeled as a gore fest or torture porn as some people will call it. But I was very hesitant to watch Saw. I didn't want to see this film. Even a few years ago, if you would have gone back and asked me, I probably would have said, I don't want to watch that film. I don't like a lot of gizzards and blood and gore pouring out. That's not scary to me in the slightest. It's just gross, honestly. And I'm a bit squeamish, too. However, take it from me, Saw has since become one of my favorite horror films of all time. And it's interesting because it's relatively fresh. It came out 15 years ago. It's a pretty recent film. And it really kick-started the careers of James Wan and Lee Whannell, who were just kind of mere film students at the time. They made a test film, uh, basically the bear trap scene from Saw, made it into a short film that's about 10 minutes. You can check it out here on YouTube. And they showed it to some producers, and the producers are like, cool, let's make this into a feature. They cast, you know, not really a big cast, I don't think. Uh, but the main standout, of course, is Tobin Bell, which I'll get to in a moment. But... Saw has since become a pretty monumental horror film, and take it from me, it is one of the best that I've ever seen. So why is Saw so impactful, really? Yeah, there's the creepy puppet on the tricycle, Billy. He's a staple of horror nowadays. But what really makes Saw interesting is its philosophical and moral questions that it asks the audience and the characters to figure out. I don't want to spoil it, because if you haven't seen Saw, it is one of the greatest twist endings of all film history. I don't want to spoil what happens at the end for you. You probably know what happens because of, you know, spoilers for 15 years. But it really is impactful when you see it for the first time. Uh, the music also enhances that so well. Charlie Closer is amazing at what he does. The soundtrack, especially the Hello Zep. Uh, snippet of that soundtrack is so good but so Saw uses morals to ask questions of the audience and it's really a film about gratitude and thankfulness and appreciating one's life what Jigsaw does essentially the serial killer is he traps people who are being ungrateful they're not worthy of the lives that they were given uh, maybe they wanted to commit suicide at one point Maybe they were cheating on their spouse. They were lying to people. They were not using their life in a positive way. And therefore, he would make them suffer as a result of that. And technically, though he is a serial killer, he doesn't really murder anybody, as they explain in the film. He 
sets it up for them to purposely either murder themselves or to survive. And we see both of those in the movie. Truly, I've seen the film many times over, and it's made me appreciate my, my own life even more so, which is weird to think that a horror film could move someone so much, but it really has. It's made me think about some pretty interesting topics over the years, and I'm glad to say that Saw really is a film that always will stick in my mind. And I again, I really want to talk about why, but I, I'll, I'll wait till a little spoiler section at the end in case you haven't seen it. But let's just say it asks some dark questions and it has a dark story. So... Uh, like I said, the film is made on a budget of about $1.2 million, and you can definitely tell. They basically stuck with one setting throughout the majority of the film. There are some flashbacks here and there, but most of the film is in one room with two characters, and that can keep your attention for a long time, especially with the script that is very brilliant. There are clever ways of adding mystery to the story and twists and turns. It's a fantastic movie, and I really wish more people would give it a chance because, like I said, it is labeled as this gory, torturous movie. And does it have gore? It does. There is, a, you know, a pretty gory scene at the end, but it all is in favor of the story. And I really can appreciate that, especially from filmmakers who are trying to say something in the art that they're producing. Like I said, Tobin Bell is fantastic. I don't want to say what role he plays until I get to the spoilers and stuff, but he does a fantastic job. All the actors do a pretty good job. Lee Whannell, you know, he he is an actor probably more so by force than by desire, but he still, I think, performs pretty well in the movie. Uh, there, are, there even is uh, Danny Glover in this film, actually, and he does a fantastic job. All of the characters make sense. And the traps are very clever and well thought out, as if a serial killer actually did make the traps, which is really creepy. Because of the low budget too, it adds to the realism of what's happening, and you feel like this could be a real story, and likely is, which is rather disturbing. Saw, to me, will stand as one of the best horror films, and if you haven't seen it for its 15th anniversary, Give it a watch, because while it does have some gory scenes, the story and the characters and the moral implications are fascinating. Plus, you get to see a creepy puppet on a tricycle too. I am going to give Saw a 5 out of 5 skulls on the RIP Reviews rating scale. This is one of my favorite horror films of all time, and I hope you can enjoy it with me for this October season. Now, let's briefly talk about the spoilers that I mentioned because they're pretty shocking. You're too late. Why? It's the rules. So like I said, if you haven't seen Saw, don't watch this part of the review because it really is something to behold when you see that twist ending. The film isn't too long either, so you can watch it and get to that spoiler pretty quickly. The main twist is that Zepp is not the serial killer as they set up throughout the movie. There is a guy at the hospital that Dr. Gordon works at. His name is Zepp. It's not him. It's actually the man that's been lying on the floor in that dirty, grungy room the entire time. A man by the name of John Kramer. John was diagnosed with cancer and therefore wants to appreciate his life and wants to help other people appreciate their lives too because he knows how drastic life and death can be. That's a really deep thing for a movie to discuss and I really like how it plays out. They don't really get involved with the John Kramer jigsaw character all that much in the movie. 
If you want to see more about him, you'll have to watch Saw 2. But too many of the sequels just get overdosed in gore and stupid subplots. The original really works well because it leaves so much open for you to think about, and that's why I love it so much. So like I said, I gave Saw a 5 out of 5 skulls. It really is a remarkable piece of film. I love James Wan. This is my favorite film that he's made, and it really is in my top 10 horror films of all time because it it really asks a lot of deep questions, and it it's pretty scary in some scenes too. So... Let me know, do you love Saw? Thank you for watching, and remember as always, for all things Halloween, this is Hauntformer.